Hello guys, uh, welcome to Selenium Training once again. This is Naveen here. Guys, uh, quickly I'll cover one very small basic topic that uh, uh, some of the people they were asking that, okay, how can we uh, use Chrome with headless browser? Okay, so it's very, very simple. And uh, if you want to execute on the same machine where, okay, in this particular machine you're working and you want that, okay, sometimes what happens that, okay, you don't want to disturb your a chrome browser because the execution is running on that particular browser so in that case you can use headless browser and in fact on uh, jenkins if you are running and let's see on linux machine if you are running okay where the ui is not available in that case also you can execute with headless browser uh, with chrome okay so quickly couple of things we have to consider so i'll tell you what exactly we have to do okay so without wasting time let me create a class let's see my class name is headless chrome test okay select the main method and click on finish so guys what i'll do i'll pick some random example where we were using let's see okay we will pick uh, any of the example let's see Okay, let's write our own code then. Simple, I'll take with Chrome driver and uh, what I'll do. Okay, I'm launching Google Chrome, simple, like this. And Chrome driver.exe file I have already given. And then simple driver dot get, let's see my URL is HTTP. And uh, what I'll do, I'll use freecrm.com that is the standard site generally we use and I have that uh, username password so I'll maximize the window okay forget about maximize that code freecrm username password and click on submit okay till here I'll get it and uh, I'll just copy paste because this is just for the concept so I don't want to write the same code again and again and uh, add this throws declaration now simple i'll execute this program so simple what exactly it will do it will enter a username password and uh, click on submit okay so let's run it quickly so it's launching my see google chrome entering username password and today's what is happening guys it's not clicking on sometimes it's not clicking on login so it's clicking on login now okay that's good so it's clicking on login and uh, the home page is coming right so what i'll do that uh, immediately after coming on the first page on the login page i'll print system.out.println driver dot get title and i'll print like this login page title is equal to like this okay and uh, same thing after login i'll print home page title home page title is equal to driver dot get title so it will print the title with chrome is getting launched but what i want i want to use headless chrome okay guys so what you have to do for headless chrome you have to do two things we have one class chrome options are available okay chrome options i'll create the object of chrome options class or let's see options is equal to new chrome options right and this chrome options is available in selenium so you can see that chrome options is coming from selenium and with this options we have one arg argument first argument is that we have to set the window size guys if you don't windows if you don't use window size guys it will open because chrome options with window size uh, default window size is just like mobile window okay so it will open a simple mobile window it will try to interact with mobile mobile window okay so make sure that you are giving the proper window size for headless browser if you want to use so simple attribute argument you have to pass like this be careful while spelling mistake window hyphen size is equal to and the size you have to give 1400 by 800 like this 1400 comma 800 like this and one more option argument you have to add dot add argument and my argument name is simple you have to write headless okay 
simple you have to write headless and this options you have to pass web driver driver equal to new chrome driver in this particular object you have to pass okay this option and this option is having these two arguments window size equal to 400 800 and headless this is for headless browser now if you run this program guys so let me close all my google chrome okay let me close my all this google chrome so there is no google chrome instance is running now see if you run this program right click and run as java application you will see that it will launch google chrome see it's launching but you are not able to open it see it will launch to show you that yes google chrome is getting launched but if you click on it it will not open it and you will see that see it's printing the console that login page title is this and after login home page title is this so this is how we are achieving headless browser okay so headless browser testing can be done on google chrome by using these two options you have to add but one thing is important guys you have to make sure you have to set the size the window size should be 1400 by 800 it is compulsory let's see if you comment this line and then if you run it so let me close this see let me close this instance and uh, what we will do we will run without window size simple headless option we are giving so if you run it see it will op it will launch google chrome but you obviously you obviously you won't be able to see that because i have given headless but what is happening okay sometimes what happens it will give you element not found exception so maybe this application is compatible with mobile then it is giving but let's see if you take some other example okay so without this option window size is also it's working but let's see i'll take this particular example for some other okay for some other application so i'll just copy this thing let's see i'll take uh, this one we have already created this application okay this automation for bootstrap drop down so what i'll do before launching my google chrome i'll put this option and options okay guys option i'll pass it over here okay so first i'll do one thing i'll comment these three lines and i'll tell you how exactly what exactly this code is working okay so if you run this program this code is simple to select the drop down values and to print all the drop down values from the bootstrap drop down so we have already covered simple it will click and it will select angular and see it's printing all the values over here okay it's printing these values over here okay guys now what do we have to do we have to do the same thing with headless so i'll put over here i'll uncomment these three lines and pass this options inside this chrome driver object and now if you run it let me close all the google chrome instances so that you will be able to see it properly okay now you will see it will launch chrome but it will not open see it's launching google chrome but if you click on it you won't be able to do anything now the good thing is now you can do your regular work okay on your same laptop on the same machine you can do your regular work okay so it you will not disturb your google chrome okay browser and see it is running okay it is running like that fine with headless also and now let's see if i'm commenting this window size equal to 1400 800 let's see it is working or not so sometime it works if the application is compatible with the mobile version then it will work freecrm.com it was compatible let's see this particular site jQueryAZ.com, is compatible or not okay so let's see see it's launching this thing but uh, okay 14 see for this also it is working so that is also fine so we can see with window size if you are not giving with this application also it is working so let's see let's take some other example where let's see some let me check some other good examples i where application is not compatible let's see i'll take this one okay and uh, yeah the same thing let me comment this particular line okay and if you run it okay so it's launching chrome without opening it and let's see okay for this also this is working 
so that is also fine okay so now let's take some other example quickly uh, okay let's see google search because google is also obviously it's available on uh, see the only concept is i want to show you guys that how exactly sometime it doesn't work with window size if you don't give and i don't give this maximize option also okay now let's see if it is working with google.com or not okay okay so with see the thing very good thing is that it's very very fast okay guys but sometimes you will observe that with the if you don't give window size equal to this okay then it will not work okay then it won't work sometimes for some application so it is a good practice to provide this particular option always at a safer site i have observed couple of times that if you don't give a window size argument then it sometimes it doesn't work okay guys so please make it a habit that if you are running google chrome make sure that two things are required first of all two things are required the first thing is two things are compulsory first thing is your chrome version should be greater than 59 on mac and greater than 60 on windows then only this option will work okay and second thing is this window size equal to default size you have to give because you never know if you are running on jenkins or some other vm machine sometime it doesn't work okay so please make it a habit that okay these two options are compulsory okay this is mandatory these two things are mandatory mandatory options i'll write okay chrome option should be greater than 59 on mac mac machine on mac laptops and greater than 60 on windows okay guys so please uh, practice it's very simple they might ask you at a time of interview and especially if you uh, want to run it on linux machine or on jenkins you can okay provide like this chrome options window size this and headless simple and it's it will be very very fast okay so let's quickly try this thing on on our page object model framework that we created let's see how exactly it's working okay where is my base class remember we created page object model number of cases we have and in before launching this chrome driver uh, what i'll do i'll write this chrome options and option parameter i'll pass it over here okay and then i'll execute my testng.xml file and we will see that it is working or not okay so see it's launching google chrome but you won't be able to see any google chrome okay see it's navigating to all these things and uh, freecrm.com entering username password clicking on login button okay so see it's picking and uh, you can see how fast it is it's very fast because it's not navigating it's directly interacting with the chrome dom structure okay chrome html dom it's interacting okay so see how quickly it is working so it's very fast and especially on uh, if you are running on vms where VM, vm is linux machine or unix machine okay or ubuntu okay or uh, some um, unix vms if you are using and let's see on aws amazon web services you are running and you don't want to uh, open the browser over there in that case there is no ui there is no gui of the operating system so obviously you cannot launch google chrome so in that case this option will be really really helpful for you guys okay see all the test cases are running perfectly fine you can see the results also over here all the test cases are green it is still running okay guys so please practice with this thing and only one option okay only these two lines of three lines of code you have to write and that's it and you are good to go and you can continue your work also see i am not disturbing my chrome because it it will not open it i am not disturbing my chrome as simple as that okay guys and uh, good advantage is it's very fast testing is happening behind the scene okay so that's all i'm just terminating it
that's all so thank you for watching this video guys and thanks for thousand subscribers guys within one month i got it thanks for your support thanks for really motivating me and i'll keep updating the more of videos in future okay thank you so much guys